What are your doubts? Can you tell me what are your doubts? Can you explain about dispensing? Yeah, I can explain you about dispensing. See, before dispensing, we have to, I hope you have studied the pharmaceutical jurisprudence. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you tell any one scheduled drug? Like how the scheduled drugs are classified? If you are telling, for example, what is meant by schedule H? You can tell. What is that? Schedule H drug should not be sold, uh, should be sold in retail under the RMP only. Okay, can you tell what is RMP? Um, registered medical practitioner. Very good. So the registered medical practitioner, like locally we are calling our uh, like we are familiar with the term physician or the doctor, isn't it? So when the doctor is prescribing the drug, then only you are, you are supposed to sell or dispense the drug. So when you go to a dispensing pharmacy, the first thing is the scheduled case notebook should be maintained. So in future, uh, like uh, Yalni has asked something regarding dispensing, isn't it? So the dispensing, uh, uh, according to a survey, one, once in India, the dispensing time is increased per prescription, the quality of the patients like this enhanced. That means we are having a healthcare board in such a way that the prescriptions are read thoroughly. So, as you said rightly, what are scheduled age drugs once again? Um, these are drugs that, that are sold treated uh, under a under the consultants of a registered medical practitioner. Okay. Can you tell some of the drugs which comes in your mind? Hydantoins. Hydantoins. Very good, isn't it? Hydantoin derivatives. What are hydantoin derivatives? Phenytoin. Do you remember phenytoin? So the phenytoin, the, phen the scheduled edge drug should be separately, separately placed in the rack. That means, you have to, uh, you are having a gabapentin, that is phenytoin. The phenytoin tablets are for, meant for the treatment of epileptic drugs. So when, while you are, while you are as a dispensing pharmacist, you are having, initially we are formulating, that is we are mixing, we are mixing, uh, we are mixing A, B, C and D. That means, all our preparations, all our drugs are in solution form or suspension form. That's why compounding the mixture, that's why our title was earlier, compounder. Compounding a mixture, that is why we are called as compounders. So we, we may not feel that, what are the terminology? Whether it is a pharmacist or dispensing pharmacist or compounder, we are having the sole responsibility to dispense even a single dose with them. Am I right? So, for example, you are after this 6th semester, you are going to 7th semester. You are having a role as a dispensing pharmacist. First, you are having a category. Like, we are categorized like anti-diabetic, isn't it? So, anti-diabetic means, nowadays in India, we are having more number of diabetic patients. So, we are seeing this. So, we are having beta -glyptin. Okay. So, beta and metformin. So, metformin is a beautiful drug, which is a bicarbonate, which acts in this. Now, this, these are new drugs. So, you should know the level of this. In case, you are having 500. Am I right? You are having 1000 still. So, the boxes would be similar. Why are dispensing? For example, I am dispensing, you are asking me M500. I am dispensing 1000. The patient's blood glucose will come down suddenly. This may lead to a drastic change, like it will do a drastic adverse effect. Similarly, in case of antibiotics, we are going to dispense antibiotics like penicillins. We are not knowing the awareness like penicillins. We are not aware of their adverse effect. We are having a theoretical knowledge. But when we are going with the IV form, we have to be very, very careful. Certain moral formulations when it comes to IV, we have a drastic adverse effect that will affect the patient's life. You know, one one second we will lose a life. So, even in the uh, dispensing, in the formulation scientist as well as 
we are having a beautiful road that is while at this country add one point taken counsel somebody is asking me and having blood pressure as well as i am having this and diabetes so you can tell them like you can suggest the diet chart okay so we are a holistic people while dispensing a particular component to the patient we are having multiple roles in the healthcare industry so we are having a, 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 a we are having we are studying about the chem as a chemist we are knowing the chemistry of the formulation and then as a two fix person we are knowing how the formulation is made and we are also knowing all the side effects and we are going through the formulation dosages we are uh, well known with the therapeutic index are you getting me so these are the sole responsibilities of a pharmacist while dispensing a drug so not only this we have studied a book now we have seen certain examples like schedule text isn't it in case you are maintaining a register for schedule text the patient history has to be monitored like name 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 of the patient age prescription drugs dosage okay name of the doctor and then what is his address and then what are the dosage so you have to maintain a well maintain register of the patients so when you are going to dispense the particular schedule text you have to maintain a schedule okay so this comes under which category what are this doses i have for example why we have to maintain a patient history why this is important for example one patient one patient is bedridden his son is coming and asking him he may be having two children then prescription should not be dispensed twice okay and also you have to advise the patients while dispensing that you should not reach children you should be kept in a dry place it should be kept in a particular storage so you are supposed to explain the basic storage also and also which like if the patient does not aware about the language then you have to instruct them in the local language are you getting me so you are having a role as a pharmacist role as a healthcare personnel as well as role as a second family member while you are addressing a patient so we should have a lot of patients and also we should, our patients are like our own family members and we are proud as a pharmacist because we are saving lives so as a paramedic and professional the dispensing role as a pharmacist as a hospital pharmacist comes as a major role in india so i have told what are the points i have told just to summarize any one of them you can tell me just freely what are all the points it comes to your mind and prescription time should be high the level the dose like you are you are not selling any groceries to go to grocery shop 1 kg rice means can give but when it is metformin 500 see the brand names what are the things you have to see batch number manufacturing date expiry date and storage and the way of handling the drug and also precautions very good the precautions should be others if he is not having a visionary or if he is having any problem it should be addressed to a capital okay i hope it's clear as a dispensing pharmacist our role is we have to serve the society with our knowledge and the thoughts of patients so pharmacist goal nowadays enhancement of time in prescription dispensing okay hope you have understood some of the things like schedule text thank you